Hi, I'm Benedetta from Local Aromas in Italy and I'm here with my sister Valeria. We are about to have one of my personal favorite Roman pastries. And follow us because we're going to take you to the place where it originated. <laughs> Buongiorno. Allora, prendiamo una tostata di ricotta e pisce. Do you want to split? Yes, I would say definitely. What we're having is called crostata di ricotta e pisce, and it's a tart which is stuffed with ricotta and sour cream. It is a pastry which is typical of... And sour cherries. Of what did I say? Sour cream. Sour cherries, exactly. And grazie, grazie yeah. mille. I'll show you. Look, it is stuffed. It's delicious and it's traditional of the Roman Jewish cuisine. So just consider that we are at the Jewish ghetto and the Jewish uh, community of Rome is probably the oldest in the world. They settled here like over 2,000 years. So this, they, throughout the centuries, this is an evolution. They, cre they came up with their own very local cuisine, the Roman Jewish, which, which has its traditions, it has um, the history of the Jewish ghetto and the local ingredients of Rome. They have an incredible cuisine. But now let's sort of explain. Can you hold this, the tray, please, instead of eating? So what we have here is a, a, a dough, a pastry, that is first cooked in the oven by itself. So you have the cup that is cooked by itself, and then once it's taken out of the oven, it's cooled down, they put this layer of sour cherries and ricotta cheese made with cow's milk. And then they cover it, and then they stick it in the oven again. And this, you get this, this, it's just unique, because you have the bitterness of the cherries with the, the, with the creaminess of the ricotta. It's delicious. And unlike traditional Italian uh, crostate tarts, this is covered. Do you know why it's covered? Are you going to tell me? No, I have no idea. Of course I'm going to tell you. No the idea why. The reason it's covered is because in, apparently in the 1700s, a papal decree uh, forbid the Jews to sell any dairy product to the, the Christians. So, you know, Italians are very smart. And what <laughs> so did they covered do? It. <laughs> they covered it. They put it in a pastry and they covered a tart and so nobody would notice. And this is the reason why it is you covered. Have. And so when you come to Rome, you absolutely have to. Have to because it, it, it's just a Roman, you just have it here and it's really worth the ride. have to give us credit. I mean, we Italians have such a creative way to solve problems, right? Yes, and thanks to the Jewish community for solving their problem in such a delicious way.